Hey everyone, Teacher Chang here, and today we're going to take a look at the two secant segment theorem. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that is. All right, the two secant segment theorem states, if two secants are drawn from a common point outside a circle, then the product of the outer segment and the whole of one secant is equal to the product of the segment and the whole of the other secant. So what does that mean? So let's go ahead and take a look. We, it says that we have two secants, which we can see in our drawing, and it's being drawn from a common point outside a circle. And that's con that common point is right over here. So now we have the second piece. It's stating that the product, product means multiplication. So it's the product of the outer segment. Well, segment means a piece of that secant. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that outer piece, which is A and the whole of that secant. Well, the whole of that secant is the entire thing, A and B combined. So that's our A plus B. Well, that's going to equal to the product, again, product multiplication. Okay, oops, let me change the color here. It's the product of the segment. Okay, so this is the segment of the second one, which is C, and the whole of the other. So that whole is this entire piece right over here, which is C and D combined. So that's what the two secant segment theorem states. So now we're going to use that theorem and apply it to problems like this next one here. So here we have a circle and we have two secants and they're meeting at a common point outside the circle right over here. So we have two secants joining outside uh, the circle. So if we take a look at each of these pieces, so if I take a look at the first secant, okay, this one right here, it says that the outer segment, the outer piece, that outer piece is this four multiplied with the whole. Well, the whole is our x and our four. So we're looking for the product. We're multiplying x plus four. That is going to equal to the other secant. And if I take a look at that other secant, if I look at this piece right here, again, we're looking at the outer piece first. And if I take a look at that outer piece, that's the three times the whole. And the whole is going to be our three and our 13. So three plus 13. So that's what the theorem is stating here. Now all we got to do is the math. So if I go ahead and do the math here, the first thing that we need to do is to distribute. So I'm going to distribute. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 4, that's 16. And then I go ahead and distribute the 3. 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 13 is 39. Okay, so we'll simplify the problem a bit. So now that we have this, I'm just going to bring down this 4x plus 16, and I'm going to combine the 9 and the 39. 9 plus 39 is 48. Okay, and now we got a regular two-step equation. So we'll just start solving by subtracting 16 on each side. The 16s on the left will cancel each other out, leaving us with 4x is now equal to 32. And last but not least, all we got to do is divide both sides by 4, and x is going to equal to 8. All right, so that's the first example. Not too bad, pretty simple, right? All right, let's go ahead and try the second one. Slightly different, okay? So each of these that we're going to do today is going to be slightly different. Again, I'm going to highlight our first secant here. Our first secant is going to be the one with the x. I all start off with the one with the x. So my first secant is going to contain that x, the outer piece. Remember, we take a look at the outer piece, which is x, and the whole. Well, the whole they gave us. They told us the whole entire thing is 45. So it's x times 45. And we're going to make that equal to, again, our second secant I'm going to highlight is right over here. And again, it's the outer piece first. So the outer piece is 15 times the whole. Well, the whole piece is the 27 and the 15 combined. So I'm going to write down 15 plus 27. 
Okay, so that's what it's all going to look like. Now let's simplify this. I'm gonna simplify a, a couple of these things together really quickly. So we got four, uh, x times 45 is just 45x. Okay, that's not a problem. And if we add 15 plus 27, multiply that by 15, that's gonna to total out to be 630. Okay, so that's gonna give us 630 here. So now we got 45x is equal to 630, and now we just got a one-step equation. All we gotta do is get rid of that 45. So we'll divide 45 on both sides. The 45s will cancel each other out, and x is gonna give us a nice number of 14. All right, that's not too bad as well. So this time they gave us that hole uh, so we didn't have to add anything in that second se segment or that second secant. Let's go ahead and take a look at this last one here. This one is also just as simple here. If we take a look, again, we're going to take a look at our two different secants. I'm going to start off with the one with the x's. Okay, and if I take a look at that first one here, we got to start off with your outer, which is x, times the whole. Well, the whole is x plus x. Well, x plus x. x plus x is going to give me 2x. Okay, and then we go ahead and take a look at the second secant. I'm going to highlight that second secant right over here. And again, it's the outer, so the outer piece is our 9 times the whole. And again, they told us what that whole is. That whole piece is right over here at 32. So it's 9 times 32. So there's uh, our problem here. So we're going to simplify this a bit, and I'm going to simplify this by first distributing this x. So x times 2x is going to give me 2x squared. And then 9 times 32 will end up being 288. And then we just need to solve little by little. So we'll go ahead and start off by getting rid of this 2. So the 2s will cancel each other out leaving us with x squared is now equal to 144. I don't want x squared. I want x. I got to get rid of that square. So the inverse operation of squared is the square root. So I'm going to square root both sides, and the square and the square root will cancel each other out, leaving us with x is equal to well, technically plus or minus 12, because a positive 12 times a positive 12 is 144, and a negative 12 times a negative 12 is also 144. So we got a positive 12 and a negative 12. Well, I'm going to say that that's both of these are not our answers. Our answer is going to be the positive 12. And the reason why it can't be the negative 12 is because, well, we can't have a negative length. So you can't have a negative length length. So it can't be the negative 12. All right, so that's pretty much the two secant segment theorem. I hope this helped out. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All right, good luck, enjoy, and have fun.